everybody. So today is the day. I'm finally, finally, finally filming this bathroom transformation that I have been teasing for so long. It's actually been completed since last year. The renovation wrapped up towards the end of December, 2021, but it's just taken me so long to get around to making this video because I just felt like for the longest time, the bathroom wasn't completely finished. It's all about the details and I was struggling with trying to find some artwork. Y'all know I finally have it and now I'm gonna take you guys through the process of my master bathroom renovation. This was something I have been wanting to do for so long, for years, and I'm just ecstatic <laughs> that it's finally done. So I think we should take a step back first and look at how the bathroom was initially. So my bathroom was pretty much a basic builder grade bathroom. There wasn't anything fancy about it, nothing spectacular, really didn't wow me. It didn't have much flair to it. It really didn't have any pizzazz to it. Every time I went into the bathroom, I just felt like kind of blah, it didn't inspire me, and just didn't make me feel like I wanted to feel when I walked in. I did, however, really love the layout. I love that I have a separate tub and shower. I liked how big my bathtub was. Like, I could just sit back, relax, get super comfortable in it, so I did like that. I also liked the size of the bathroom. I felt like it was the perfect size. It wasn't too big, where it just felt like I had a lot of wasted space, but it also wasn't too small, whereas though I felt cramped and just like I didn't have enough space. I like the dual sink vanity and I also like the fact that it was a darker color because I really felt like having a dark vanity amongst all of the like neutral colors it really helped to anchor the space and just have something like a focal point point. and when I was thinking about the design of my new bathroom I decided on sticking with a darker colored vanity as well just because I really like that and I also like that I have a separate room for the toilet so it's closed off from the main bathroom so overall, I just really did enjoy the layout and I really didn't feel like I had to change anything as far as layout goes. So that's one thing that helped to keep the cost down on this renovation because I didn't have to knock out any walls or change the plumbing or electrical too, too much. Certain things did have to shift a few inches, but other than that, nothing major. So that was one thing that really helped to save some money. But of course, there were a lot of things about the bathroom I did not like. I wanted to get rid of and completely change. The mirror situation, I knew I wanted to do away with. I knew I wanted to do a different type of look for the mirrors. The sinks originally were these oval sinks and I just felt like I would take the look of the bathroom up if I did away with these circular sinks. So that was definitely on my to-do list as well. The tile, you guys know, I hate it. <laughs> I hate this towel, y'all know that from my last bathroom renovation. It had the same towel as my master. I got rid of that towel in the other bathroom and I definitely wanted to get rid of the towel in my master as well. The handles for the tub and shower faucets, they were these like really cheap crystallized handles. Also, funny story, the shower head on my shower broke like a month or two before my renovation started. Once that shower head broke, I was like, oh no, we gotta get this bathroom together because that was like like a sign that this bathroom is falling apart on its last legs I needed to hurry up and get this thing moving another thing about this bathroom is that the separation between the standalone shower and the tub it had like this short wall between them and it was kind of thick I felt like that was using up space that could be allocated to making the shower larger or putting in a slightly larger bathtub I just felt like that was wasted space how the bathroom originally was and just overall my goal for my bathroom was to to create my very own personal zen garden. That is what my vision was for this bathroom. I wanted it to be really serene, peaceful, welcoming, and kind of earthy, give me that earthy vibe. When I walked into the bathroom, I wanted to feel invigorated. I wanted to feel happy. I wanted to feel inspired. So we had a lot of work to do. So I used my same contractor as I used for my previous bathroom transformation. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it right here and I'll also put the link to it down below in the description box. But that bathroom turned out so well. We absolutely love it. I have had no complaints thus far. And my contractor just did such an amazing job. I knew I wanted to stick with him when um, I did my master bathroom renovation. So the first thing that they did was they came in and they completely just demolished the whole bathroom. They took up 
out the shower, they took out the bathtub, they took down the walls around them, they removed all the tile from the floor as well as around the tub and shower surround. The toilet was removed as well. They removed the vanity and the mirror. They also trimmed out a hole in the wall so that the plumbing could be exposed and they did that for the tub area as well as the shower area because with the new things I was putting in the bathroom, the dimensions were slightly different than the previous um, tub and shower and vanity that I had in there. I got a vanity that was a little longer because I felt like I could use a little bit more space on the left side of the vanity that wasn't being used just to make it look more substantial and regal. So the plumbing for that had to be moved over. And then like I said, by taking out that wall that separated the shower and the tub, I was able to expand the shower so the footprint of the shower would be a little larger. I didn't go out that much more. Um, I think it was about six inches to the back and also six inches over because I didn't want the shower just to look out of place and too big for the space. But I did just wanna maximize the area in the shower so it could be, you know, just a little bit more roomy. And the windowsill was removed as well. My original windowsill was actually just made up of the tile that was on the wall. I really didn't like that look. So my contractor took that out and he just told me he could make me a windowsill using a piece of white marble. Okay, so on to the next working day. My contractor went ahead and installed the shower pan. Like I said, we did increase the footprint of the shower. So the previous day we went over that, measurements and everything. So he built the shower pan out to the size that we agreed on and he put up some waterproofing around the perimeter of that. We also went over the placement of the new shower handle. Then he had a plumbing company come in and do the plumbing work for the bathroom. So for the shower, they moved over the valve to accommodate the new space. They also set the tub valve as well. For the vanity area, they adjusted the plumbing to accommodate the new vanity that I was gonna be putting in. And for my new shower, I decided that I did want a niche in the wall. In the original shower, there wasn't a niche. There was just like a little shelf in the corner. However, initially where I wanted to put my niche, there was a pipe there, a plumbing pipe. So the plumbing company had to move that pipe over so that I could be able to put, well not me, but <laughs> my contractor could put a niche into the wall. So the plumbing company did move that pipe over as well. And that's pretty much all they did for this day. It was mainly plumbing work and then um, installing the shower pan. My contractor put some water in there, left it overnight to make sure there weren't any leaks. And then the next working day, they started laying down the flooring. So I chose this large four mad like marble veiny type of looking tile. So I got all the tile for this bathroom from Floor and Decor. They basically just laid down tile for the entire day. That day I also went back to Floor and Decor to find some pencil trim. This is what my contractor has suggested that I get for the shower tile because for the shower tile I used a marble rectangular tile and I decided to do a herringbone pattern. And with so many different pieces along the wall, he really didn't think that having those raw edges there would look nice so he suggested that I get some pencil trim so I took a few of my shower towels with me so I could find the perfect trim and I did which I was so happy about so I picked some of that up that day so my contractor could have it ready when he started on the shower wall the next day my contractor finished up laying the floor tile he also installed my new toilet <laughs> I don't know why I get excited over a new toilet, but I do. I got one that was slightly taller so it could be more comfortable. And it also has a sleeker look to it so you don't see the pee trap on the side. Just makes it easier to clean and it also looks nicer to me. So I got a new dual flush toilet and he also laid the shower floor tile, y'all. So initially for the shower floor, I was gonna go with this hexagon, I believe it's porcelain tile. And this was the tile that I used on my other renovation. And I was like, oh, I think this will work but then when it got down to the wire, I changed my mind because the shower wall tile was marble and then to have a porcelain shower floor tile, I just didn't think it went together. I felt like having that porcelain tile for this bathroom, it just brought down the look. So I went back to <laughs> floor and decor again and I chose a different hexagon tile in a marble material and I just felt like that matched the look that I was going for better and when it was put in I was like oh yes I made the right choice 
I love it so much. I love the shower floor so, so much. But yeah, after the shower floor tile was installed, my contractor went ahead and closed up the walls. He also built out my shower niche and just had everything ready for the next phase, which was installing the shower wall tile, which actually expands all the way around to the tub area as well. And then here is where I had to pick out the grout color. Yo, grout color really makes a huge difference like <laughs> picking out grout is not as easy as you would think whatever color you go with it really can change the look of your space so so much but my contractor told me that I had to use the same grout color for the shower wall as well as the shower floor so I had to pick something that worked with both of them so I chose two colors that I thought would work I held them up and I picked this light gray color I felt like it would work it would give it a good contrast but not be too much so that's the color I went with and and then for my bathroom floor, I chose a medium gray color as well. Okay, so on to the next work day. This was the day to bring in and hook up my vanity and I was so excited. So I got this vanity from Wayfair. My contractor opened it and he was like, I have a problem. And I'm like, what is it? Y'all, let me tell you, it doesn't matter <laughs> what you're doing, what you're renovating. It seems like there's always something that happens. There's always something that comes up. This was like the first major thing that popped up on this job. I ordered this like royal blue vanity. I love the color online. I was like, oh my goodness, this is the best thing. I'm gonna get this vanity. But there was blue spray paint all over the countertop. It pretty much looked like they, when they were spraying the cabinet color, they were just not being careful and got some overspray on to the countertop. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I was freaking out at first because I was like, I've had this vanity for months, never opened the box. What am I gonna do right now? I don't have time to reorder this vanity. I don't even know if they still have it in stock. Like, what do I do? But my contractor was like, let me try something. I think I may be able to get this off. I think he used rubbing alcohol, if I'm not mistaken, and he was scrubbing it, scrubbing it, scrubbing it. I was getting very concerned that he was gonna ruin the countertop. <laughs> Um, but he scrubbed it and miraculously all of the blue paint came off of my countertop. Thank goodness. However, he did suggest to me that I contact Wayfair, tell them about the issue and see if they'll give me like a refund or something. And I called customer service. I told them about the issue. I sent them a picture. I sent them video of it. And the same day they gave me a 15% credit, which was really, really good. So I got a good little discount and the problem was fixed. So that crisis was averted. The vanity was placed into the bathroom. And then sidebar, my vanity that I bought, it actually came with a backsplash piece. But because my mine sat in a corner. It needed a backsplash and it also needed a side splash. So we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do with that. But when my contractor put that backsplash piece that it came up with, I was like, oh no, this is not gonna work anyway because I really didn't like the look of it. I felt like the veining on the backsplash just looked so cheap. And I just felt like it also clashed with the veining on the floor tile. It was just too much visually for me. It has the same veining on the actual countertop, but because the countertop is flat, it didn't stand out as much and I wasn't as bothered by it, but the backsplash that it came with, I absolutely disliked it and I didn't wanna use it. I was like, oh no, we cannot do this, take it away. <laughs> so we had to quickly figure out what we were gonna do about the backsplash and on the side of the vanity. So I asked him if he could find me just one straight, single white piece of whatever that would match this countertop. So he went out and he found me a marble slab, the same marble slab that he was gonna use to create my window ledge. He was like, I can use this and I can cut it down so it's not so high. And I was like, great, looks fine, let's do it. So that's what we decided to go with. Aside from putting in the vanity, on that day they started working on placing the shower wall tile. So he put one wall of tile up. I came in, I looked at it, I was in <sighs> shock and awe because it just looks so stunning. But he showed me an issue that he was having with the towel which was slowing down his work. So basically the towel that I got, and this he said he comes across a lot, especially from towel from floor and decor. So y'all just keep that in mind because y'all know from my other renovation video, I had an issue with the towel being different sizes and how that was really throwing a monkey wrench into the whole situation. So I ran into that same issue again. Basically they were the same overall size except the thick thicknesses were different. And when my contractor went to lay it, he was running into it just being jagged and not smooth like he wanted it to be. He just wanted to bring that to my attention, but I was like, 
um, is this gonna be a problem for you to put it up? He was like, no, I'm gonna put it up, but I'm just trying to make it so that it's as even as possible. One good thing about the contractor that I use, he's really into like having quality work, which I did appreciate, but it just felt like he would show me every single little issue that came up. And at a certain point I was like, don't tell me anything, just figure it out. <laughs> Cause I was starting to get so stressed y'all. Renovations can be extremely stressful, let me tell you. But besides that, they put up the tile. I had them take it all the way to the ceiling this time. Previously in my original bathroom, the shower tile didn't go all the way to the ceiling. And I knew that I wanted my tile to go all the way up because I just felt like it gave a more luxury look. The next day, the herringbone tile was completed and I was just so awestruck. I loved it so much walking in that bathroom. It just made me feel amazing. I decided to use some of the hexagon tile in my actual shower niche because I wanted a little bit of a contrast. Visually, I felt like it would just look a lot more interesting to look at. The pieces to create the shower threshold were placed down and installed. Basically, all the tile work was completed. Next up, the faucets were put in, y'all. So I used the same faucets that I used in my other bathroom renovation. I loved them so much. I had such a great experience with them. I was like, let me just use them again. I definitely wanted gold accents in this bathroom. I feel like just bringing those warm elements can just make a bathroom feel more inviting, more homey, not as sterile. And I got them on Amazon for a really great price. And my mirrors were installed as well. So I decided to break up the mirrors. Instead of doing one large mirror, like I had to do two separate mirrors with a really thin frame, I just thought it looked sophisticated, sleek, and just way more modern. And then for the lighting, I wanted to change the lighting I wanted to do just a single light fixture over each mirror and I ordered two different ones because I didn't know which one I wanted to go with at first. My contractor was so nice to um, install both of them so I could look at them and see which one worked best with the space and I ended up going with the one with the black hardware piece on it. It overall just matched better. Then the next day the backsplash piece was put in, it was installed on the wall and they caulked it and everything, made it look real nice. Nice. New baseboards were installed all throughout the bathroom. Now, this is where this renovation took a turn for the worse and I realized I made a huge mistake on the grout. Fortunately, my contractor had the foresight to only put the grout on a small patch where it would be covered up by the tub. He did that so I could come in and look and make sure that I liked it before he did the entire bathroom. I came in, I looked at the grout and I was absolutely disgusted. I was like, wait a minute. Oh my goodness, this is not what I envisioned. So of course the shower wall is white marble with like very subtle veining to it. I chose this medium gray grout because I thought that would be a nice contrast. It would make the tile pop and it would just look really good. No, 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 no. That was not the case. It looked like it had a fungus growing in it. Like that's how it looked to me. It just looked dingy, dirty, nasty. And I was like, okay, what can we do? Because I can't live with this. This is gonna completely ruin my bathroom and take it somewhere that I did not want it to go. My contractor was like, okay, I can dig this grout out. It's gonna take me a while, but I can dig it out and we can go over it with another color. And I felt so bad about this. He spent the rest of the day digging out that grout from in between each tile. But he got it out and I went back to the drawing board to figure out what type of grout were we gonna go with. So I basically went with the lightest color that I could find. Luckily, the grout color that I chose for the floor tile, it was perfect. It was great, I was happy with it. On that day, I also went to, I believe it was Home Depot I went to, and I got some paint to paint the bathroom. So once my contractor was done for the day, I went in and painted the bathroom walls and I used a white for that, just a really crisp, clean white. And then I chose like a light gray to paint the toilet room. The toilet room, I wanted it to feel a little more separate from the rest of the bathroom and I wanted there to be more dimension so I decided to paint that room so then after that my white grout was applied and I was so happy with it I was so ecstatic with it I was very thankful that my <laughs> contractor was able to pivot and go in a different direction with the grout and it worked out perfectly and I feel like it still allowed the tile to stand out in 
in its own way. That was one thing that I was nervous about. I felt like it would be washed out and you wouldn't be able to truly see the herringbone pattern. But that was unfounded because it looked amazing and I felt like it made the bathroom look a lot more clean and fresh and just vibrant. My new shower handles and the shower head were installed. Again, I went with the same Champagne Bronze Delta trim kit that I used in my other bathroom. I especially love the fact that the shower head, you can adjust it. So it has different spray settings and everything like that. So I like that. And I also just like the color and the look of it. So I went with it again. And then y'all, they brought in my tub. Oh! <laughs> my tub is what dreams are made of. Previously, there was a garden tub in there and I just wanted a standalone tub because I felt like it gave more of a spa experience. It just gives more of a spa vibe. And I was searching, searching, searching for the perfect tub for so long, y'all. It seemed like all the tubs that I liked, they were out of stock or just crazily priced. And I finally came across this really amazing tub on the Home Depot website. The new tub trim kit was installed and I just love the sleek, look of it and then that pretty much wrapped up the work that my contractor had to do. This bathroom renovation went pretty quickly. It only took about I don't know, total about eight to 10 days. But then after that, I had to get in a shower glass company to come in and enclose the shower. They came out, took measurements, and then two weeks later, they had all the materials in and they installed the shower glass. And I got the bronze handle clips and everything like that. Once the shower glass was in, my bathroom was officially complete. Then I just came in, added some decor, got it looking like how I wanted to look. So guys, let's take a look at the finished bathroom. Let's hit it. It is just so very nice to use this space. I really feel like I have hit my mark with this. I got that luxury Zen garden feel. The vanity, the color of it is just so eye-catching. It really ties in well with the flooring. I added on this wooden tray to go in the middle of the vanity just to have some essentials there. I also put in this floral arrangement because I love bringing in those natural elements. And then of course these gold accents bring in a hint of glam. It brings that higher end type of look and then the light fixtures I put an Edison bulb in them I think it makes my bathroom look a little more fancy with those bulbs in the tub is so relaxing I love how deep it is you can get really really comfortable in this tub and I love the fact that this tub it drains so quickly and quietly my shower I love now that it is completely enclosed with glass it makes the space feel so much more open and larger in my niche I ordered some bottles off of Amazon because I wanted it to look super streamlined and just very organized. And just the look of it, this herringbone pattern with the marble hexagon tile on the floor, it just makes me feel kind of fancy. It just looks fresh and clean and nice. I like how the painting of the toilet room brings in a bit more color and some separation. And it is just such a huge, huge, ginormous change from what it used to be. I almost can't believe that this is the same bathroom. It just looks so different. And I enjoy how light and airy this bathroom is now. It's way less cookie cutter now and way more custom to what I wanted in a bathroom. So yeah guys, that is my bathroom transformation. I feel so good about it. It's just so lovely to go in there and use it now. I feel like a new person almost <laughs> whenever I use my new bathroom. And I also love that while it does look more luxurious and upscale, I really didn't break the bank on buying a bunch of expensive fixtures or accessories. I got a lot of stuff from Amazon, Wayfair, Home Depot for really good prices. So you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get a really good transformation. You can do this on a budget. You guys let me know what you think about it. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have the links to everything that I used that can be found online down below in the description box. So check that out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.